going to show you in this video how you can start storing your prompts in Airtable and make the changes here. And it's going to be automatically added to your AI models uh, in your automation. And you don't have to come in here and start updating these every time something changes or you want to test some stuff out. So let me show you how to set it up. So basically, this is always part of the bigger workflow. It's not the standalone uh, automation. And we're using these four modules to get the prompts from Airtable from here. So basically, what you have to add uh, is a search records Airtable field. And then you're just going to choose the table that has the prompts in it. So this is a separate table in my content uh, database. And here I have added uh, these fields. So the first one is prompt ID. This is an auto number, so it always adds a new original number. Uh, then I add a description, uh, which is a single line text field. And this just gives me a quick overview of what type of prompt it is. And then I have user prompt, system prompt, and a system prompt. And all of these are the long text um, uh, field types here. So basically here, once you have uh, chosen this table, you choose all of these output fields and you can add the limit here by default it's 100 so i don't know how many prompts you have but i think uh, less than 100 usually so the next module that you have to add is a text aggregator module and here use this Airtable search records uh, as a source module and then the row separator uh, pick as an other and then the separator as a comma and then just add this text here. Uh, I'm using uh, prompt and the prompt ID is going to be the order number. So prompt one, prompt two, uh, something like this. And now it makes all of these description system, user and assistant into the variables that I can use in the next steps. So just copy and paste this. And uh, if you are a member of AI Marketing Masters, you will find it here. If you're not, then uh, come and join us and uh, you will find lots of other automations and make.com blueprints and Airtable templates here as well. Um, but let's get back here, uh, copy this exact thing and then save it. And then uh, the next step, uh, I'm using a uh, cloud module, I'm asking it to be a JSON formatter because the next step after this one is going to be parsing JSON, which is a bit of like a coding thing, but you don't have to understand it. Why this step is here is because uh, sometimes I'm adding these prompts here in a format that JSON parser doesn't really like. It doesn't like uh, colons, it doesn't like line breaks and stuff like that. And I don't even know like every time what I'm doing wrong. So this AI module here is going to kind of double check and fix all of the mistakes I'm doing in my prompts. Uh, so it would be okay for the next step. So basically this uh, prompt, again, you're going to get from AI Marketing Masters and you can copy paste it. And we are just adding last element of text from the text aggregator here. So this is the JSON string it has to clean up for the next step. Here I'm using uh, Claude Heiko. You can use whatever ChatGPT. I think all of these uh, will do a good job. And the last step of this part is going to be parse JSON. And here you're just going to add the output from the last uh, module or ChatGPT module. And uh, it's going to be content and text. And then it's going to add this uh, JSON string here. What it does is it turns all of my prompts into variables here in make.com. So I can go into all of my AI uh, modules and I can only add this uh, prompt here. So as you can see, it's prompt one, prompt two, prompt three, because I have three, um, then user prompt, system prompt, assistant prompt. And I can also see the description. Okay, this is a blog draft. This is a newsletter draft. This is a LinkedIn post draft. So since this module here, this one is a newsletter draft module. I'm just going to add this uh, second prompt here. This is about newsletter and uh, I'm picking the user prompt. And the input, I always want this to use uh, what I have coming in from my content system. So this is already added here as well. And this also changes just in my Airtable field. So I don't have to do any editing inside uh, make.com. I just have to come here and uh, create a blog post with sources based on this text uh, use the first person. So basically I can do all of this stuff here. And the next time the automation runs, it's going to use this updated prompt. 
So I hope you like it, start using it and check out my other videos and join AIMarketingMasters.com as well. Bye.